Hello guys, this is Ruthless Spork, and uh, that's my gun shop. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a little vending machine for one shipment. It's probably not the most efficient thing, but I just want to show you guys so you can understand the mechanics of an automatic gun shop. And you can apply this to many other stores. You don't even have to make a little vending machine. You could make what I'm doing here is just making a large shop, shipping containers, all that stuff. You can... You can apply the wiring that you will hopefully learn in this video to different things in the game and not just this one specific vending machine. So, let's see. I think I spawned one too many. I did. Uh, no, that's actually fine. So, we have the outside of our box and we don't want to fill this one spot here yet. So, I'm going to take that point and I'm going to put it like just right there doesn't have to be exact you can kind of fiddle around with that I'm gonna push that down a lot just because I like the way it looks we're gonna to want to change the physical properties it doesn't matter if you enable or disable gravity just make sure it is on super ice and ice will also probably work just normal ice but no point in not getting super ice and make sure the bottom plate is also super ice and so what this is going to do is let's see if I can just spawn like a uh, a shipment or something in here hold on i don't think i have any of them enabled yeah i don't think i have any enabled but basically you can uh what's gonna happen i'll probably just advance do this and show you an actual dark rp game is you put the shipment right in there and you can make the people pay for it. Uh, why is it raining? I need to turn down my game volume. Okay. So, um, yeah, you're just going to put the shipment, like, right in there. And people will be able to pay for it. And their gun will come out. So, uh, now we're going to make the top half. Um, so, let's get that. I'm going to need two more of these. And the reason I'm not filling in the front part yet is because I want to add a little more customization to it and not just have it be one by one plates. And like I said, there's probably... You could definitely shrink this model down a lot. I'm just building it easily and usable. So I'm going to set this to 0.2. Push that in uh, right where I like it. Uh, this is off just by a little bit. That's going to bother me. But I don't really care that much. So now I'm going to go. Yeah, so you can see down here there's Browse, Games, Gary's Mod. There's a tab called Hunter. You want to go there and you want to go to Plates. And if it doesn't load, just click Misc or just any other tab above it and then go back to the Plates. And so now we've got all these much smaller sized props we can use. And I'm going to go like, actually, just for ease of this, I'm going to go like that. And then, so let's just get that back to where it was originally. Set that to one, and I think I'm just going to go boom, boom, boom. Okay, and we'll stack that up. Um, so now we have like the basic things. And now I'm going to get a little bit into the wire. So, first of all, you're going to want a money pot. And I'm not sure because this is sandbox, but because this is uh, yeah, normally in dark RP. You put the money in on this side, and the money will shoot out on this side. So you want, you would preferably want that kind of sticking out somewhat. And then we're going to get, let me just close all these so you can see uh, which ones I'm using. So we're going to go to chips and gates. We're going to go to gates and comparison. We're going to get an equals gate. You can place this outside, it doesn't. I just like this for organization. 
So I'm going to place it on the side that this is on. We're going to close out of that. Go to input, output. And down here, you'll see constant value. And we want to use a number value with the value of 1. OK. And we'll close out of that. And now we're going to go to tools. You can move to wire legacy or wire advanced. I just prefer wire advanced because it can show you guys what I'm actually doing. So now we're going to say updated. So if anything gets put into there, then like if that is one, so it should equal this basically. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but if something goes in there, it will be one, but normally it's going to be zero. So we're just going to check to see if the value is one or zero. And so then if it is, this will output something. So we want to go to tools, where is it? Advanced maybe. Where's the other section? Other, here we go. User, so close that out, please. We have user, and I have mine with a range of 40. You can put this there. You can just, as long as the user is connecting with that box, you'll be fine. And so we just want to go back to tools, wire advanced, and uh, wire the fire from the user to the out of the equal gate. So now if this gets money put into it, it will shoot the money instantly out into here so people can't just put in like $100 and keep using that $100 to keep buying whatever shipment you have. Uh, let me just do something really quick, just because I think space could become an issue. Uh, I'm going to no collide this prop. Actually, yeah, this this might work a little better. We'll stick that like that. And remove that user. So now we're going to have the user right there. Is that even touching it? No, it's not. So we'll, put it. we'll increase the range by like I'm not five, silly cow. Put it right there. Is that long enough now? Can't tell if it's touching it. Yeah, it's definitely touching it. Okay. Um, so now that we have that, I'm going to need to rewire it because I removed it. So we just need to make sure we have enough room to fit this into there. Let's just see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, and now this is where some more wire gets done. We need a gate. And uh, you can either make it so that the uh, they have to be precise or they can tip. I'm going to just show you guys how to make the tip one, but the precise one is relatively the same. I'm going to use a greater than or equal to. So we have that, and we're going to want a constant value. This constant value, you can change it to whatever you want. It's the price of whatever shipment you put in there. So I'm going to say my shipment is going to be $250. And now I'm going to wire. That's not where I want it to go. Wire advanced. If um, this stored amount is equal to 250 and we will get another user. This one will uh, activate our shipment. So let's say we have a shipment of pistols. It will press E, like you know when you press E, a pistol normally will just come out of the top. This will act the same way that pressing E does. And uh, so we'll have this fire go to the out of that. So if there's $250 in there, this will be activated. And um, let's see. I think that's all I really need to show for this part. And I will pick this back up in a dark RP server. Oh, and uh, probably want to put the front on there so people don't take your stuff. So let me get that set up real quick. And we're going to make that a fading door. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to put a button toggle. Fade. Okay, so now. Okay, cool. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Or not next video, but in just a quick second. Alright, I'm back, and let me just do something really quick. Change 
one and close. This is just to get rid of the error. Um, so I'm gonna go to my advanced duplicator. And here was what we made in the last part of the video. So we've got this money pot. This going on. I'm gonna become a gun dealer. Um, my single player version is a little bit buggy, but it doesn't matter. Also, this is just something I thought of, like, between parts. So I'm going to go to Detection, get a Ranger, and I'm going to say, I want that at about 50. And I'll say 40 because I don't want it to touch the bottom of this box. So, like that. And we'll put Visuals, Indicator, put a little indicator out here. So people will know if there's a shipment in there or not. Close this. Tools. Advanced. And we'll just say that equals distance. Um, so now if I get a shipment of those. Put it like that. You're also going to want to make sure you have this prop no collided, like just all collisions no collided. We're going to want to see through this one. You don't have to make it like this, I'm just making it like this for this tutorial. Color it. Okay, so let's see if this works. So. We said the price was 250 so we can also add like a uh, text screen. Say like M4 250. Okay, so now we drop money 250. We should get a gun. And look at that. And the money you just made went right there. And so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask me. And I will try to explain it. Wow, the, <laughs> the base guns are so bad. Um, but yeah, it, also if you look here. Say we take that out, then nada. Gives this little red thing. So that can be a good indication for you as a gun dealer and for the people spending money so they don't spend money on on uh, nothing. And uh, we can also do some more if you want. Let's we'll say uh, shipment in stock question mark. And we'll just have a basic thing. A description is name, the value. Um, let me just kind of put down like there, and tools wire advanced a. I'm gonna want to actually do this so you don't get some weird number gates. Comparison, greater, equal, input, output, constant value of 1, and then just wire that. So if the ranger distance is touching something, it should just output 1 there. Interesting. We make. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So you want to wire the ranger's distance to that. And so now, if we put a shipment in there. Just like that. See how our little thing down here says shipment in stock one. And if we 
run out, it'll tell us that there's no shipment in the stock, and we can go and refill it. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you have fun making these and applying these to other things. See ya.